white light. It's very low. It's low if you're cruising. Good morning. Hello. Welcome, Welcome. to day one. To the day one of the Narrowboat Experience. Exciting 12 days to Bumble Hole. Bumble Hole. <laughs> a comment because we've been continual cruises now for maybe you should have counted before you started five, five months and we I can genuinely say I have run into not literally some of the loveliest people on the canal don't you think yeah and today was no exception because we were getting water and we forgot to get their names but they were lovely and I just kind of wanted to say that it's just been really uplifting, I think. If you think five months of your life, can you honestly say at another time in your life, five months of your life, you would have met so many awesome people and they're not our best friends, but they're really nice. Like, I do, like I'm not staying in touch, like we're not pen pals or anything is what I meant. But just for people to be nice is nice. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Did you think they were your best friends? Yeah. I 
think everybody I meet is my new best friend. Or could be my new best friend. I have an opening. Do you? This is going to be our first real floating festival. So I'm looking forward to getting to the Black Country Festival at Bamboho. And I'm really super nervous. For those of you that haven't heard of Bumblehole, which <laughs> I imagine is everyone. Do you think so? Don't you think people in Birmingham know Bumblehole? A lot of people we've said we're going to Bumblehole haven't believed us. It's, Sounds rude. It's near a place called Dudley. Also, if you want to come, then you can Google it and turn up. And that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a two day long festival. The car parking is free. Yes. The festival has no entry fee. So I think it's worth a visit if you're local or if you want to take a little drive. Yeah, parking's free, that's pretty awesome. So, and the organizers, Jill and Patty, because um, I rang them and said, this is, this is our first festival. Um, they seemed really lovely and really helpful because my issue was, and we'll have this issue on day 12, is how do you moor up? Like, how are you given your spot? So I'm really excited, but I'm really nervous. I'm not nervous to sell things, because, you know, we stay afloat, thanks to everybody who supports us. I'm kind of just more nervous to, to exhibit every painting because you're putting everything out there then, aren't you? Are you nervous? Um, I'm trying to work out which side of the boat is best. <laughs> no, no. To have tail path side. No, which side of the boat is least bad. <laughs> How best? I think this side. I think if we can possibly have port side. the stuff set up port side because the hatch is better on that side. Yeah. Definitely.
bed then. Go back to bed. lunch break short because we're both tired and I fear that if we don't start cruising again straight away we're both gonna get too tired to keep going. I've learned a lot from 1979. It's really instilled a good work ethic in me. I was quite surprised because I thought we were gonna end up staying, with, staying here. Well I feel like that's why you parked us right near that bridge. <laughs> I think that might be the key, is finding really bad lunch mooring spots. And then we'll keep going. But this is different to 1979. We don't have to keep going. But we have to be there by the 12th. <laughs> Monumentous, but it's not really. We're just exiting the Ashby in just one go. Bridge number waters and by that she means the Coventry Canal first impressions of the Coventry Canal is there seems to be a lot more litter in the water and like overgrowth debris well it could be just because of all that 